Hey, it's Chris Cooper, your old home doctor. This is what I look like when I'm all sweaty and dirty. Um, why am I sweaty and dirty? Well, you see, uh, we're battening down the hatches uh, for the onset of Hurricane Lee that is supposed to hit us this coming Saturday. So we've been working away trying to secure things, trying to uh, uh, make sure that the roof isn't leaking. And it doesn't really make for good TV, uh, but it does and it doesn't. Anyways, um, on this episode, uh, and I've kind of waited for this. this, this actually happened a couple of months ago on the absolutely hottest day of the year here in Nova Scotia. And I didn't like it because uh, uh, I was sweaty and I was kind of gross, but I figure I would open this one sweaty and gross and unshaven. Uh, but what we are calling this episode here is Felix Unger has left the building. Cheers, folks. Well, folks, here it is. Here's Felix Unger, the uh, beached whale uh, that uh, was our oil tank that, of course, we're not going to be using anymore because we're going to bring you an episode on uh, uh, as well showing uh, the use of our heating device that we purchased for uh, the house here, which is a very large pellet stove. And as we've said throughout this process, um, this is kind of like a living laboratory. And what I mean by living laboratory is the house is, is showing, you know, is testing things, is, is uh, uh, you know, seeing how certain systems work well. And one of that is going to be a pellet stove. So, so we needed to remove this oil uh, um, tank because it was inside and you know the the chances of it spilling we had it drained professionally um, we just never actually removed it so this is the process of removing it and it was quite the challenge not a long one today uh, just a relatively short one uh, we've kind of uh, we were going to show you uh, uh, some trim work in that today, but and uh, the veranda restoration. But uh, we're going to have to leave that to another day because we really don't have time. Uh, it is now uh, 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 Thursday, and this storm is coming in in the next two days. Uh, the worst being Saturday and Sunday. So, ladies and gentlemen, Felix Unger is leaving the building. You'll see what I mean. I'm pretty sure it's Felix Unger. I'm pretty sure. You'll uh, have to figure it out yourself. Listen to this great noise. He made into a musical thing I want to do is rip that tap off. Because if I rip that off and if there's any remaining fuel oil, which there might be, it will come out. It was pumped dry. I 
to make a 90 degree turn. Don't know if that's going to happen. Felix Unger. I'm thinking it's either Felix Unger, odd couple, or somebody didn't like the oil guy. Felix Unger. Thanks, Ryan Scranton. Felix Unger is leaving the building. Felix Unger isn't leaving the building. <laughs> uh, by this much. Mr. Unger, you lose. Well, two for one. Felix Unger, nothing, even though he says he has three points here. And I think that is a definitely bleep you in 2003. Cheers, folks. Well, after getting that oil tank out, the space is. Wow, just gotten so much better. The biggest problem is, is now we have to deal with this wall. And this wall has, is completely rotted. Um, the, uh, the roof leaked forever. And we just finally got some reclaimed metal uh, roofing from a barn that was taken down nearby. And we covered this. And it's helped a lot. Uh, I've noticed one or two little spots that... Probably are just uh, nail holes that had to be filled with some blackjack. But, you know, this entire thing is like this. And if you can take a look at this, you see how it's broken up in cubes. And what this actually is, is cuboidal wet rot. There's actually no dry rot in Canada. Dry rot is a totally different uh, animal in itself, which is basically a fungi that attacks wood. But here in Canada, because of our cold climates, we don't actually get true dry rot. Uh, so all it is is wet rot or cuboidal wet rot, as we call it in the industry. So next is to clean up the place, clear the place. We're gonna put cribbing down. I'm gonna put a plate across here, run some floor joists, get some plastic all on the ground here so as to help because you know, under the shed, um, you know, there's literally uh, a, a, a artesian well or, or an aquifer that is running through the property. That literally water just keeps on running through. So, going to get some plastic down, some heavy plastic, possibly some EPDM uh, to keep the rising damp from coming up. We're going to insulate the floor, insulate the wall. Uh, this guy in behind here, this is for our front of our house, but in the back um, is the window that uh, uh, we're going to put in here, which is a, a lovely window. It's about 34 inches wide by about 5 feet high, and it comes from a house that's about 1852-1853. So this addition would have been put on in the 1960s, 1970s. And I think that we're going to have a heck of a transformation at the end of the day. So I'm wet, I'm sweaty, I need a haircut, but day one on good old Beau Prey, located in the Annapolis Valley of Nova Scotia. What's the matter, Maudie? Maudie is, uh, is, 
is kind of perplexed of why all this uh, stuff is going on. But uh... Well, that's it, folks. Short and sweet. Uh, that was a bugger. And, uh, you know, you can certainly see that, uh, you know, it's a little on the difficult side. Being the three of us doing this project, me, myself, and I, but uh, we'll get it done. Still have to get this window uh, sorted out. And uh, we'll probably have to get that storm window on it. But uh, we're getting ready for the storm, folks. Hope everybody stays safe. Hopefully nobody loses power. Uh, we did buy a generator. We'll talk to you about that in an upcoming episode. And uh, we... Uh, uh, are hopefully prepared. I hope you're prepared. Uh, certainly uh, reach out to us if you uh, if you need uh, anything, uh, some advice or something. So take care, folks, and see you after the storm. Cheers. <laughs>